Math Grade 1 Quarter 2 Week 2 Let's learn about Measure lengths and distances using non-standard units Day 1 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about Measure lengths and distances using non-standard units. Learning competencies. The learners. Measure the length of an object and the distance between two objects using non-standard units. Compare lengths and distances using non-standard units. And... Solve problems involving lengths and distances using non-standard units. Day 1 Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to measure lengths using non-standard units. Look at the bookmark below. Let's find the length of the bookmark using paper clips. Estimate the number of paper clips needed to represent the length of the bookmark. Here is how to get the length of the bookmark using paper clips of the same size. Place the paper clips in a straight line from one end to the other end. How long is the bookmark? Correct! It is about 7 paper clips long. What do you observe about the paper clips? How are they arranged? The paper clips have the same size using only one color. You can also use different colors. They are placed in a straight line from one end of the object to the other end. They do not overlap. There are no spaces or gaps between them. They are placed end-to-end. -end. What if we have only one paper clip? How can we use it to find the length of the bookmark? To find the length of the bookmark using only one paper clip, use the paper clip repeatedly to find the length, bearing in mind the proper way of placing them. Then, mark the end of the paper clip to guide us where to place it next? Here is how to do this. First, place the paper clip. Then mark the end of the paper clip to guide us where to place it next. Then, place again the paper clip. Then mark the end of the paper clip. Do it repeatedly. Place the paper clip. Mark the end. Place the paper clip. Mark the end. Place the paper clip. Mark the end. Place the paper clip, mark the end, until we reach the end. Continue doing this until you reach the other end of the bookmark. What if we use this big size of paper clip? What will be the length of the bookmark? Let us estimate the length. Until we reach the end. As you can see, we use different colors of big paper clips. How long is the bookmark using the big paper clips? Correct! It is about 5 big paper clips long. Why did we get different answers? Yes, we got different answers because the two paper clips have different sizes. One is longer than the other. What if both kinds of paper clips are used? Place this below the second row, paper clips. Let us use both paper clips, the big one and the small one. Big paper clip, small paper clip, big paper clip, small paper clip, big paper clip, and small paper clip. 
Can we say that the length of the bookmark is about 6 paper clips? Why? No, because different sizes of paper clips were used. Remember that the same size of paper clips must be used. This is wrong. This time, use a crayon to measure the length of the bookmark. How many crayons long is the bookmark? Correct! It is more than 2 but less than 3 crayons long. Next, use a ball pen to get the length of the bookmark. How many ball pens long is the bookmark? Correct! It is more than 1 but less than 2 ball pens long. Here are the lengths obtained using different objects. The length of the bookmark is 7 paper clips using small paper clip. Next is 5 paper clips using big paper clip. Next is more than 2 but less than 3 crayons long. And lastly, more than 1 but less than 2 ball pens long. All of the answer represents the length of the bookmark. We got different answers because we use different objects to measure the length of the bookmark. A small paper clip, big paper clip, crayon, and ball pen are called non-standard units. Different objects can be used as a non-standard unit. Non-standard units refer to objects that serve as units of measurement such as a paper clip, a crayon, and a ball pen. Other non-standard units are popsicle stick, match stick, eraser, chalk, and pencil. Aside from different objects, some body measurements may also be used as a non-standard unit, like hand span, arm span, and foot span. For this activity, prepare beforehand different objects to be used as non-standard units, like 5 boxes of paper clips, 5 bundles of popsicle sticks, 5 bundles of straws 5 bundles of coffee stirrers 20 pieces or bundle Each group will choose any two objects Write the name of the objects in the table One in A and the other in B For example, for letter A, popsicle sticks And for letter B, paper clips Now, Measure the length of the desk. Write how many popsicle sticks you use. And write how many paper clips you use. Next is, measure the length of shoelace. Write how many popsicle sticks you use. And write how many paper clips you use. What objects did we use in measuring the length? Correct! We use paper clips, popsicle sticks, straws, etc. What do we call each object that we use to measure the length? Correct! Each object is a cold, non-standard unit. What should we remember when using a non-standard unit to measure the length? Correct! It should be placed in a straight line from one end of the object to the other end without gaps and overlaps. And now for this activity, encircle the letter of the illustration that shows the proper way of using the paper clip to get the length of the flashlight. Is it letter A? Letter B? Letter C? Or letter D? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. About how long is the flashlight? Correct! 8 paper clips.
Number 2. About how long is the straw? Let us estimate. 5 pencils 3 sticks and 6 staplers So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!